Felting needles from the felt box, are they worth it? Hey, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs. It's a Wednesday, so it must be another needle felting equipment and supplies review. Every Wednesday I make videos just like these, so if this is something you're interested in, don't forget, hit the thumbs up, subscribe and come back every Wednesday. Before we get started, I'd like to say, just like I do in every video, I'm not sponsored for any of these. These are things that I've purchased over the nearly 10 years of needle felting and I just want to give you an idea if things are worth buying or not. If I'm ever sponsored for a video, I will let you know. Where I can, I give links in the comments below to where you can purchase products like what I'm reviewing. And don't forget to check out the playlist for all my other needle felting supplies and equipment reviews. So I ordered a full set of needle felting needles from the felt box and I just want to give a little review for you guys. So what I got in their set was a 32 triangle needle, a 36 triangle needle, a 40 triangle needle, a 38 star and a 40 star needle. If you haven't already seen it, I've done a video on different types of needle felting needles in the past. But for a quick recap, the smaller the number, the bigger and thicker the needle. And a triangle just means what it sounds like. The needle has three sides in a triangle shape. A star needle has it has your normal sides, but instead of them being straight sides, they're actually turned in the way. So we have more angles on the needle. I'm not sure, but I assume that means that the barbs are actually in more of a 3D shape. So for every stab, the barbs are catching in more of the radius rather than just in three specific points. They've now got what six or so different points that they can catch, so a bit more grabby is the theory. I actually at the minute in time generally use a twist needle. Now people talk about how this twists the fibres as you're going down. It doesn't. It just means the normal shaft of the needle is actually twisted. So again, this means rather than just three or four points that have barbs in the 3D direction as you're going down, because the shaft of the needle is twisted, then you have, if you look at the, the cross section of the whole needle, there's points all round it that can be grabbing the fibre rather than just in the three places. So for each stab, you're getting more bang for your buck. So firstly, what I'm gonna say is, I don't find much difference between felting needles, the quality of them. I'm sorry shops if you've really looked for fantastic quality needles, but they all seem pretty similar to me. They're a pretty similar length. Uh, different companies may give nice little handle attachments or pretty colours to help you identify them or shipped in different ways. Some are shipped in tubes, some are just shoved into cardboard and this is a nice little card. I haven't found any needles are more or less likely to break. Thankfully I seem to have got reasonably okay at not breaking my needles so often. So I can't actually say if these needles are any better or worse. For me they're just the same as any other needles. What I found is like I said in my last video the felt box has been fantastically good at shipping in a hurry. I ordered these on the Saturday evening and by the Tuesday I'd got them, so you can't really get any sh faster shipping than that. So I would totally recommend them on that front. So what I decided to do today was a little bit of science instead to experiment with how the different needles work. Let's just see if we can get a close up of these a little bit. And you can see the type of needle is named by the side. So the 32 is the thickest needle with the biggest barbs in it working down to a 40 is the finest needle. So what I decided to do, because I have five different needles in this set, was break off similar amounts of wool. I took some carded bat and some roving, rolled them together into a ball, and for each one I gave them five minutes and I just felted that ball just to see how I thought the different needles did. Now, in my head, I had an idea of how this should work out. We know the smaller number is the bigger needle and it's, it should be more grabby and quicker to work at the beginning of a project. So in my head, I thought for this project, what I would end up with was the first ball that I felted with the bigger needle would felt up into the tiniest size. And then as you went, up the number down the size of the needle you would get less stabby power for each stab so that in five minutes the 40 gauge needles would actually not felt as much and would have a much 
bigger bow. So that is what I was expecting. But let's have a look at what actually happened. The 32 triangle needle is far too dense, even with a completely unfelted bow. I could stab better into the carded bats, but into the, the roving or the tops or whatever you call it, the needle was just not wanting to go in at all. I was also finding, because I was having to hold it so tightly and use so much force to get the needle in, that actually my, my non-stabbing hand was getting sore just from holding it. I was really ready for giving up this stabbing after about one minute. It was horrible to keep going and do five minutes, which surprised me on completely unfelted wool. I thought this would be a good needle to make a start with, but I'm gonna say for me personally, I wouldn't use a 32 for anything. It was horrible. 
And surprisingly, for the other four needles, there was very, very little difference. The difference between a 36 and a 40 was far less than I was expecting. The 36 triangle and the 40 triangle, I would say, felt exactly the same. They felt it down to a pretty similar density. They were both nice to work with. You can see a little bit of the, the needle marks in the surface, but they really did about the same job. The difference between the 40 triangle and the 40 star surprised me the most. The 40 star is definitely less felted than the 40 triangle. The 40 triangle was much better to work with. This is probably because the star, the barbs are not just all round the cross section of where you're stabbing in, but because the surface, because the sides rather than straight are like indented, it's going to poke into a smaller surface area. So grab less as it were at a time, but finish up with a smoother surface, it'll take longer. So I would definitely recommend the 40 star as a finishing needle rather than a felting needle. And the 38 star, although the results look pretty similar to the other two triangle needles, I actually Personally, I found it more pleasing to felt with. It just seemed to take just the right amount of pressure. It wasn't too harsh on my hand, so I was able to get good rhythm going with my stabbing. And at the end of the five minutes, I was more than keen to carry on and finish the ball to full smoothness. So for me personally, the 38 star is a fantastic needle and that's the one I would recommend out of this lot. But these things vary a lot by your felting method. Some people felt faster and some people are stronger than others and also different fibres felt differently as well. So I would totally experiment, buy yourself a range of needles and experiment with them to see what you actually prefer. But for the sake of the review, the felt box needle felting needles absolutely come quickly, reasonable price, work like every other felting needle. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Don't forget, come back every Wednesday if you like videos like these. So what's your favourite bit of felting equipment that you couldn't live without? What have you purchased that you weren't quite so happy with? Let me know in the comments below. Come back next Wednesday and I'll see you later. Thank you very much.